Servant is a show that's streaming on Apple TV right now, created by Tony Basgallup, and every episode is written by him. It's also executive produced by my main man, M. Night Shyamalan, and he directed two episodes of the show, the first and the ninth. So of course I was going to watch it. In fact, it's the main reason I got an Apple TV subscription. This show is about a couple recovering from a tragedy played by Toby Kebbell and Lauren Ambrose. They tragically lost their infant son. And in their state of shock, their therapist recommends that they have a baby doll that they care for for a while to help them get over their loss, eventually giving up this doll. But the mother becomes increasingly attached to this doll, acting like it is real, acting like it's really their son. So they hire a nanny, played by Nell Tiger Free. And when she arrives, she begins making crosses out of straw, putting them over the baby's crib. No one's really talking about this show right now. And it could be because not a lot of people have jumped onto Apple TV, which is understandable. There's not a lot on there that attracts me. This show is why I have a subscription, as I said, and so I get that. But I really think you should be talking about this show. In fact, it's it's one of my favorite new shows that's currently running. I think Servant is brilliant for a number of reasons. One of the biggest being purely practical. Almost the entire show takes place inside this house. It's lower budget from that perspective. There's barely any CGI that's noticeable. It is entirely character based. Tony Basgallup does an excellent job writing a family that is caught in the middle of turmoil. Recently losing a child and then dealing with this strange, somewhat supernatural development. In fact, they're not entirely sure what it is. Why are there crosses made of straw hanging above its crib? Who is this nanny? Who's this stranger in my house? There's so much suspense built around these three characters interacting. It's really tense. And I respect that so much. The fact that this show goes entirely for character drama over your traditional scares. It is such a creepy show, the way it builds along. And it's also a show that I respect greatly because it has a very, very personal mystery. There's a lot of questions for every character that hangs in the air for many episodes, and you don't get answers for a while. Sometimes that might annoy people. For me, I love wondering about what's going on with a character. I love trying to figure out what really is going on in a story. I don't love answers. I don't love being spoon fed, you know, all the time. I want that mystery. And the entire first season of Servant intrigued me. Toby Kebbell is excellent in this show as a husband dealing with a wife who he loves, but is clearly traumatized and might be losing her mind. She's taking this infant doll so seriously, and she seems completely lost in a fantasy world. And you watch as their marriage crumbles as a result. Toby Kebbell really shines throughout this entire show. He's a chef, and he cooks very exotic dishes, some of them very disgusting. You see a lot of really nasty food preparations, squids with their insides being pulled out, eels being killed by bashing their heads against a counter. I don't know to what lengths they used makeup. I'm assuming there was no animal cruelty on set, but... It is very convincing and sometimes very disturbing. But you feel for him so much as a character because he's trying to figure out just what's going on in his house. But Lauren Ambrose is excellent as well because you also fully understand, especially by the end of the show, why she feels the way she feels. Why she's almost had to adopt a brand new personality after such a horrific event. And why she's so lost in it. But there are two other performances in this show that are so excellent. One of them being Nell Tiger Free as the nanny. I think she's an amazing new talent. She is so good because for for large portions of the show, you have no idea what is going on with her. And she's incredibly creepy. But at one point in the show, you start to understand her psychosis. And in a weird way, you're almost on her side for a while. And suddenly things aren't as clear as they they were at one point. It's really brilliant writing. Here's the big surprise for me. Rupert Grint, good old Ronald Weasley, is amazing in this show. He plays the brother-in-law of Toby Kebbell's character. And he doesn't know how to interact with his sister because he doesn't want to destroy her world that she's living in. And so on the side, he's investigating with a private investigator trying to figure out what's going on. 
I loved his character. He might kind of be an alcoholic. He comes over there every night wanting to have wine from Toby Kebbell's amazing wine collection. And they sip wine and talk about this horrific shit. Whispering, of course, because they don't want anyone else in the house to hear them. The direction for the show is great all the way throughout, and the cinematography is gorgeous. This is the same cinematographer that Shyamalan's been working with since Split, and it shows. Just about every setup is wonderful. Just the way their city street looks at night with the glowing orange coming through the tree leaves, it's really gorgeous. And in regards to the two episodes that Shyamalan directed, it's my favorite work he's done since Split, especially episode 9. Really, really strong work, and I love seeing him take the helm of something that he didn't write. He feels almost freed in a way, like his work just feels so free in this show, whenever he's directing. Because I understand him very much as a writer, director, you know, you get very personal when, you, when it's your material, things are supposed to be a very specific way, but it's clear that when he's helming someone else's material, he just feels a lot more free as a filmmaker, and I could see it in every scene he directed. I've made it a point to see everything he's done, even his episode of Wayward Pines, the TV show that was canceled, and I've even seen his first film, Praying with Anger, a very, very bootleg, like, VHS rip cut of it, but I did see it. So I, I've made it a point to always analyze his work because of how much he inspired me and how much he continues to inspire me. I think this is an excellent show. I think more people should watch it. I think more people should be talking about it. I'm so excited season two is greenlit. I'm gonna give the first season an A minus. The only real issues I have with the show are that sometimes some episodes feel a little informative, less interesting and more, here's some information for you that you should know about this family. Sometimes uh, a character will show up like um, the mother's father shows up for a scene and kind of imparts some information. You know, I mean, sometimes scenes feel a little throwaway in that aspect. And some things that will bother some people are, are that some episodes don't necessarily have finality. There are still some questions hanging in the air left for season two to explore. I'm okay with that. Some people might not like that, though. Nevertheless, I thought this was a really damn good show, and I hope that more people check it out. Guys, thank you so much, as always, for watching. Look forward to more reviews very soon, and if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.